With an insane roster of 182 playable characters in Sparking Zero, there is a burning question on everyone's mind as the game approaches its release. Who are you going to main? So I ranked every playable fighter that's been announced for Sparking Zero, from S tier being a character that I'll probably main, to F tier being a character that I probably will never touch. But first, comment down below who your team is going to be when the game launches. Let's get into it. Okay, jumping right into it, we got Teen Goku right off the bat. For me, I like Teen Goku. I think it's great that Dragon Dragon Ball OG is being included, but like, I also do hate that he can't really fly, so that's kind of a downgrade for him. Base Goku early, he can't go Super Saiyan. He's gonna be used in the story, but like, I'm not gonna use him in actual, like, combat, but he's not like F tier, he's not F tier, but yeah, he definitely goes, like, C tier. Base Goku mid actually is a pretty good pick because he's got Kaioken and he has, I think, the Spirit Bomb. Base Goku mid, probably like a maybe. I don't really see myself using that as like a, a an actual pick. Super Saiyan Goku mid, however, yes, because in Budokai Tenkai G3. I don't know what his moveset looks like in Sparking Zero. There's some stuff that I'm trying not to look into because I don't want to get spoiled. Super Saiyan Goku mid in Tenkai Ichi 2 and 3 honestly has some of the best movesets in the entire game. So he's like our first A tier. Base Goku end. Base Goku end I'll put in probably B tier again. It's kind of like a maybe. The base forms of most characters I'm probably going to stay away from when it comes to like actual team rankings and stuff like that. But because I'm probably just going to go straight into their actual like Super Saiyan form or whatever. You know what I mean? Super Saiyan Goku end. Super Super Saiyan Goku end is his moveset's kind of watered down from uh, what Goku mid has because Goku mids I think his 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 moveset is like angry Kamehameha, instant transmission Kamehameha, and like meteor smash. So Super Saiyan Goku end probably a B tier as well. Probably won't really be using that one. Super Saiyan two Goku really has like kind of the same moveset. I think that they're kind of the same as far as BT three goes. I'm doing a lot of these rankings based off of BT three and what I remember because I'm assuming that they're going to be balanced similarly, but I could be wrong. And don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm probably going to do this tier list again once I've actually gotten my hands on the game because, you know, I want to actually give a fair ranking once I've actually tried out a lot of these characters. But for right now, this is just a blind ranking. You know what I mean? Super Saiyan 3 Goku, probably going to be a secondary. He's got a pretty good moveset. Vegeta Scouter, uh, I think that's a, probably a B tier as well. Great Ape! We got our first giant character. That is our first F tier. I will not be using any giant characters. And if you use giant characters in the online mode, I just want to let you know right now, me and everybody else we absolutely fucking hate you okay i'm just letting you know right now i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm speaking for everybody right now when i say giant characters don't use them. Base Vegeta early. This is the one that has Super Saiyan. Probably not on uh, Base Vegeta early. I think Vegeta Scouter is like, their only difference is that Vegeta Scouter has like dirty fireworks and he's got Gallic Gun. He just has a better design also. Super Saiyan Vegeta early. I would say probably C tier. I honestly don't really use the Vegeta characters that often when it comes to the arena fighting games. Super Vegeta might be like a maybe because he's got a pretty good moveset too and he actually does some pretty good damage, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Base Vegeta N, probably not. Super Saiyan Vegeta and probably not as well. Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, probably not as well. Majin Vegeta, that's like a maybe. It's like dependent on the movesets, you know what I mean? That's kind of how I'm doing these. Base Vegito, let's get him into A tier. A tier easily. Super Vegito. Ooh, he's not quite one of my mains. He's not quite there, but he's a secondary. He's a secondary. We're actually getting into some of the characters that I actually care about now. You know what I mean? Hey, hey. Super Gogeta. That's a main. That was one of my mains in BT3. That's what I gotta go back to the I gotta go back to the oh me. Kid Gohan. That's like a maybe. No, that's a probably not. That's a probably not. That's a C tier. Base teen Gohan. That's probably a maybe as well. It's just base. Super Saiyan Teen Gohan, that's like probably a, that's like an A tier. A tier as a secondary, maybe if I have to throw him in there. Super Saiyan 2 Teen Gohan. My absolute goat. This is the character that I have spent the absolute most time with. That two key bar Super Kamehameha on BT3, if you know, you know, brother. If you know, you know. I just gotta be so real with you. If you know, you know. S tier immediately, highest S tier that I can possibly give easily the highest S tier. Great Saiyan man? Probably never. I gotta be so real with you. Probably never. Base Adult Gohan. That might be a secondary. Adult Gohan Super Saiyan? Probably a secondary. Adult Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? Probably a secondary as well. Ultimate Gohan? That's, that's a main. 
That is a main. That was one of my mains from BT3. Future base Gohan, probably a secondary. Super Saiyan, future Gohan. That was a main of mine as well. As you can see, it's very top heavy for Gohan. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a, a Gohan meat rider. I gotta be real, dude. A little bit. Base sword trunks, probably a secondary. Super Saiyan sword trunks, probably a secondary. Melee base trunks, probably a maybe. Super Saiyan melee trunks, a maybe. Super trunks, definitely a never. Because he's gonna be super slow like he was in bt3 kid trunks probably not ever super saiyan kid trunks probably the same thing base goten probably not ever super saiyan goten probably not ever really it's not a never i shouldn't say never it's not a never it's more so like you know probably not but i i probably you know for funsies i might you know base gotenks maybe super saiyan gotenks that's a maybe super saiyan 3 gotenks that's also in a maybe category piccolo probably not piccolo fused with nail probably not nail definitely not i don't see myself ever using nail krillin maybe for fun but probably not yamcha never get him out of my face tn this is a real real controversial one if you have played bt2 and bt3 i used to absolutely terrorize my brother with tn i'm not just talking about for the meme i'm not just saying that because the super you know that super sick tn shinhan edit exists i'm not just saying it for that ungaku can you play that edit for me real quick I Thank you. I would say is actually in my secondary cast. And that's like one of my first controversial picks because he has, if I'm remembering right, he might not have it in Sparking Zero, but I'm hoping that he doesn't in this game. He has the Neo Tri-Beam. And the Neo Tri-Beam, what it does is when you use it, you literally can just spam triangle for as long as you want. And your health slowly goes down every, some, every single time that you use it. But it does more damage to your opponent than it does to you. So with that being said, I used to spam the hell out of it on my brother and he hated it. Especially if you have like the Z items that give you extra health. Ooh, you're cooked against my TN, dude. Chao Tzu, never. Yajirobe, never. Master Roshi, probably never. Yeah, base Roshi, probably not. Max power, probably. Mr. Satan! Strongest character in all of Dragon Ball. Best character in all of Dragon Ball going into my mains, 100%. Videl, probably never. Bardock, might be in my secondaries. Raditz, probably never, actually. Probably never. Cyberman, probably never. Nappa, probably never. I don't think I've ever really even played as Nappa in any of the games. Frieza Soldier, never. Kui, never. Dodoria, never. Zarbon, never. Super Zarbon, never. Guldo, for sure not. Raccoon, no. Jace, no. Now, here's another controversial one for you. My goat, my fastest man in the universe, my fastest blue dude in the universe, my fastest blueberry burger when i used him in bt3 i was a menace and i've been practicing with him again i was an absolute menace burger is an underrated character when it comes to the actual dragon ball fighting games and you guys will see when the game comes out he is ridiculously fast he was one of the first like confirmed characters when sparking zero was doing its character roster rollout but i don't think people really understand how much of a menace that he truly is as a character and it's crazy because he's like a throwaway part of like you know the frieza saga you know he's, he's part of the ginyu force and nobody really cares about him but if you know you know birder is my second main literally super saiyan 2 teen gohan and birder those were like my two two main guys when I played BT3. Ginyu, probably not. I could, I think the body change might be kind of fun to mess around with, but probably not. Frieza first form, probably not. Frieza second form, definitely in, like never. Frieza third form, never. Frieza fourth form, maybe. I'll throw Frieza fourth form into maybe. Frieza full power, probably not. Mecha Frieza, Mm, probably not as well. I might mess around with him, but it's not a never. It's definitely not a never. King Cold, probably not. Dr. Zero, never. Android 19, uh, never. <laughs> I don't know why I even thought about that one. Android 18, maybe. If her moveset's good, we'll see. We'll see. Android 17, same thing. We'll see with those two. Android 16, probably not. First form cell, never. Second form cell, never. Perfect cell, maybe a secondary. Same with super perfect cell. It just depends on how they're balanced with the speed. We'll see what happens. Cell Jr., my brother and I used to do a challenge with Cell Jr. We used to do this thing where we would we would take the strongest characters or take our mains and we'd see if we could beat each other with Cell Jr. And that's how we knew we were actually good at the game or not was if we could actually best each other using like a handicapped character that still kind of had, you know, some decent moves to them. So Cell Jr., just to be a little bit of a dickhead, I'm going to throw in secondary just 
maybe for some BM later on down the line. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Spopovich? Never. Deborah? Never. Mbobbity? Absolutely not. Majin Buu? Probably not. Nah, actually, that's a never. I'm not gonna use Fat Buu. Majin Buu Evil? Probably never as well. Super Buu? Probably not, but not a never. Buu Tanks? Probably not as well. Buu Han? Might be a maybe. Could be a maybe. Kid Buu? I could see them in my secondary list. I could see them in my secondary list. A lot of this is based on speculation, based on just like the, the, sh the stuff that I've seen, you know, some of the some of the people who have had gameplay early, like Rhyme Style and all of those guys, like who've had the, the gameplay get, get out early. I'm not one of them. Bandai, you know, next time, if you do Sparking 1, you know, sequel to Sparking 0, see what I did there? Send it to me. I won't tell anybody. I won't tell anybody. You know, I, I Super Garlic Jr., probably never. It's kind of weird that they didn't include his base form, but like who really wants to play his base form? Let's be real here. Dr. Wheelow, another big character. F tier. Turles! I forgot about Turles. Turles, my absolute goat. Turles is easily one of my mains when this game drops. Turles is such a fun character. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just because I like playing as evil Goku before Goku Black even came out. But I would say Turles is probably like one of my top three guys. I love the kill driver move because it just like it's just a big ring that you throw at somebody. It's fun. It's a good little move. I like it. Lord Slug? No. Giant Lord Slug? No. Cooler base? No. Final form cooler though could be a secondary could be it could be a secondary metal cooler i love the design of metal cooler but probably not android 13 never super android 13 no bojack never full power bojack never janemba big Ugh. No, never. Super Janemba could be a maybe. Tapion. I like Tapion in BT3. That's going to be a maybe, not really a secondary character. Harutagon. I hate, I'm telling you, I hate the big characters. I'm sorry. I hate the big characters. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like the big characters. Base Broly. I used to use Base Broly a lot in BT3. That's going to be a secondary. Super Saiyan Broly Z. That's going to be another secondary. LSSJ Broly. Probably not. He's just too big and bulky. Like, I don't, I don't like feeling slow in a game game where you gotta be fast, you know what I mean? I don't like that. And as a matter of fact, because we're talking about this, Super Saiyan Broly Z, I'm actually gonna throw into S, because he was one of the characters that I frequently used in BT3, and I actually liked using him a lot. Base Broly Super! I'm gonna be real with you. I can confidently see myself using Super Broly in, like, my actual main roster. I have no idea what he plays like. I haven't seen gameplay, because I'm trying so hard not to spoil it for myself, but I can see him being one of my absolute mains. I'm throwing him in S. S tier. I'm throwing every form of him in S tier. Base Goku Super. I would say Super Base Goku, probably B tier. Super Saiyan Goku Super. I could see that being a secondary. Super Saiyan God Goku. I want that to be one of my secondaries, but I just, I don't know what the real differences are going to be between all of these forms. Super Saiyan Blue Goku probably a maybe not as high as as super saiyan god i'm just literally going based off of the design with these two because i'm assuming that they're going to be around the same but who knows who actually knows ultra instinct sign goku the ultra instinct characters you know weiss they, they got the auto dodge and all of that i will not be using them i personally will not be using this just because i want to i i don't know i don't want to have a crutch on the characters that i'm using you know so ultra instinct sign i'm gonna throw in maybe and the actual ultra instinct i'm gonna throw into maybe as well I'm gonna try them. I'm gonna try them, but I don't know if I'll actually main them. I can't see myself maining them. Base Vegeta Super, probably a, it's gonna be a maybe as well. Super Saiyan Vegeta Super, I could see as being a secondary. Super Saiyan God Vegeta, probably a, like a regular maybe. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, mm, maybe as well. Blue Vegito, I'm gonna throw that one into a second, into the secondary category. Cause I actually could see that being one of my picks because I do have Super Vegito already there. Base Gogeta, these are the ones from Super. Base Gogeta, probably, a maybe. I could see that being a maybe. Super Saiyan Gogeta Super maybe as well. I don't think I'm gonna put it into secondary yet. The blue version, yes. I will throw that into secondary. Yeah, the actual blue version, yes. Base Future Trunks? Uh, from Super? Probably not. Uh, Super Saiyan Future Trunks? Probably not. I love Trunks, man, but the blue hair, man, the blue hair is what gets me. It's not even like how strong he is. It has nothing to do with like, you know, his transformations already. Like it's literally like I'm telling you, dog, it's like I can't look at the blue hair, man. Like the blue hair, it throws me off so much. Android 17 Super. I could see that being a, a high maybe actually because I do like Android 17. He's his other versions in here too. So maybe Beerus. I could see Beerus being a secondary. Weiss. Okay, so I said this about Ultra Instinct. 
but if you've seen the gameplay for Whis, he auto dodges all the attacks. If we're talking about using him competitively, if we're talking about competitively, I don't think I will ever use Whis. I don't think I will ever use Whis, so I'm putting him in the never category because I won't feel like I'm good at the game if I'm beating people with Whis. Me personally, use whoever you want, but you know what? I gotta throw Whis in probably not then because it's not a never. I might, you know, who knows? Frieza Super. I will probably, I think Frieza Super could be a secondary. I think Frieza Super is a, a top contender for secondary. Same with Golden Frieza. I could see those being a sec a good secondary character. Frost, probably never. Base Kaba. He beats Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. Uh, who am I kidding? He's I'm never playing him. <laughs> I can see myself using Super Saiyan 1, Kaba, and Super Saiyan 2. I'll throw those in maybe. Those are definitely maybes. Hit, I think will be another fun character to play. I think they'll be kind of similar to Whis, maybe a little bit. I don't know, I could be wrong. Like I said, take everything that I'm saying with a grain of salt. I haven't played the game at all, nor have I seen all of the gameplay footage that's been put out because I'm really, really trying not to uh, spoil myself. So uh, I'll throw them in a maybe. I'll throw them in a maybe. Base Goku Black. I think I, I gotta say out of any Sparking Zero character, out of all of them, I think I'm most excited to see how Goku Black is going to actually feel to play. I've seen some of the gameplay with him, but like it's going to be a whole different experience to actually, you know, play him myself. So I'm going to throw Goku base black as a speculative main. I'm throwing him into S. I don't know how he's going to play yet, but I don't know. I, I think it's going to be sick. Same thing with Super Saiyan Rose. Definitely throwing that into S. That could be a crazy, crazy pick. Zamasu. Probably a maybe. Just, just Zamasu on his own, maybe. Fused Zamasu, I think, will be like a secondary. I'm more so like Goku Black on his own. Not as much the fused version of Zamasu and Goku Black. I just think Goku Black on his own is such a sick character. Fused Zamasu half corrupted? Probably never. Wolf Guy. Probably a never. Rosie, probably a never. Kakunsa, probably never. Ribriane, Ribrian, probably never. Base Caulifla, base Caulifla, probably. That's definitely a maybe. I think Caulifla is a cool character. I think that they're going to be a, a, a sick character. Kind of crazy that they skipped over her first Super Saiyan form, though. Base Kale, probably not ever. Berserk Kale, probably not, but not a never. Super Saiyan Kale, probably not as well. Base Kefla, could be a cool pick. I'll throw that in maybe. I'll throw all the forms of Kefla in. To, into maybe 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 we'll see it's really really dependent a lot of these picks i'm just speculating on what i think you know what i mean on what i think based on either the stuff that i have seen uh either from the show or from whatever but like i said we'll absolutely see when the game comes out and i said this before i will do another ranking once i've actually gotten my hands on the game it'll probably be like a month after release uh and i'll come back and be like all right here's where i was absolutely wrong here's where i was an absolute idiot it actually turns out that Chaozu is like the greatest character of all time. Let's throw him into S tier or whatever. And don't worry, I'll, I'll go back over it and it'll be it'll be a good time. And Alaza, uh, I might try them out. I think they're gonna be a cool character. I'm gonna definitely try them out. That's a maybe. Dispo, I'm gonna throw that into maybe. Topo could be a cool pick. I'm gonna throw that into high maybe. God Topo, same thing. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know. It's a high maybe as well. Jiren. Jiren, I think both forms might be a secondary. I think so. I think so. I think both forms of Jiren might be a secondary. He might be a crazy overpowered. We'll see. We'll see how the game is balanced once it comes out, but that might be a secondary. Base Goku GT. Base Goku GT. I'm actually still surprised that they got GT into the base game. That's a probably not because I'm probably not going to use him in base. He does have like the strongest spirit bomb currently, I think. So we'll maybe. Who knows? No, I'll throw him in maybe. Actually, now that I said that, I literally said maybe. So I'll throw him in maybe. Super Saiyan Goku GT. That's a, that is a probably not. I don't really like his Super Saiyan forms when he's a kid. Super Saiyan 3 Goku GT, probably not as well. Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Now, wait a damn minute. We're throwing that one into secondary. We might have him as a secondary. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta will definitely be... I'm not as big a fan of Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as I am Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I just think Goku pulls it off better. I think his design is better. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Ooh. Now, I know everyone's going to be rushing to this character. My brother mained Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and made my life hell because of it. And I, he never let me pick him. He never let me pick Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I, as tempted as I am to throw Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta into, like, my main category or my even my secondary, I'm going to throw him into maybe because I'm still probably going to play him, but, like, not he's not, he's not going to be on my main roster. Not going to be on my main roster for sure. Pan. Probably not. I will try Pan out. I don't think they'll ever be, like, a character that I actually use uh, most of the time. Oob. 
I could see Oob being in my secondary. Easily. Easily in my secondary. No, as a matter of fact, I'll throw Oob into my mains. As a matter of fact, I, I think I could see him being one of my mains, depending on how he's balanced. Same thing with Majub. I will throw those guys into uh, into my mains. Baby Vegeta. Probably not. Super Baby 1. Probably not as well. Super Baby 2. I could see going into my secondary. I could see them going into my secondary. Great Ape Baby. <laughs> Don't want that. Absolutely don't want that. I don't think there's a single giant character that makes it above F tier, if I'm being honest with you. I could be wrong. I've got to be real. I don't think there's a single giant character that makes it above F tier. I could be wrong. Point it out in the comments if I put something higher than it should be. Sin Shenron. Probably not in his base form. Probably not. In his Omega Shenron version, though, I will say he's probably a high maybe. He's kind of a fun character to play in, uh, in, in BT3. And the last one that we have is mini goku from daima i have no idea how he's gonna play i have no idea what his moveset's gonna be like the show hasn't even come out yet and if you're watching this post when the show has come out maybe he has some insane transformation or something that they throw into the game later on but for right now i have no idea and i'm gonna assume that he's gonna be operating basically the same as teen goku but just for today, I'm going to throw him into secondary because who knows? Who knows? He could be the most goaded character of all time. It is Goku after all. And that is my Sparking Zero tier list. We have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Birder, Turlis, Goku Black Rose, Super Gogeta, Ultimate Gohan, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, Mr. Satan, Super Saiyan Broly from Z, all versions of Broly from Super, Goku Black, Base, Oob, and Majub. I think that's a pretty good set for my mains. Let me see if there's actually any other ones that I want to move up higher because I think that I think that there might be some that I can move up higher. I'm going to throw base Broly up higher. I'm going to throw future Gohan into S. I'm going to throw Frieza Super into S. And just to be silly, I'm going to throw Cell Jr. into S as well. Those are my mains. For now, that is my list. Do you disagree? Do you not disagree? Tell me in the comments. And also, tell me who you will be maining. Give me your top five characters for Sparking Zero, regardless of how controversial they are. And I'll see you guys when Sparking Zero actually does come out. I hope you guys are excited because I am too.